it, it's it's a while ago I showed my my little brother League of Legends for the first time. He was probably I don't know four or five years old, and you know I was I was sitting at my my dad's place. And my my parents are divorced now, um, and I was playing League of Legends, and this little guy was was sitting on my lap, and I I just wanted to enter a normal game. I don't even remember if it was, it was normal or against bots, because it was pretty hard playing with this little guy sitting there and you know, trying to control my keyboard and all all sorts. But um, then going into the game, he he decided that we were gonna play Fizz, the champion Fizz, and then he found this great skin where it's basically a rabbit, <laughs> a rabbit skin. And we were we were having a great game and we were walking around killing everyone and you know every time we got a kill he was like yay and cheering for me and now it, it still happens sometimes you know he's like mass when are we gonna play the rapid again I want to see you on the on the rapid or if he watches one of my one of you know the games I play with my team he's like why didn't you play the rapid <laughs> which is which is pretty cool good question mass why didn't you yeah. play the rapid like. Yeah, it's, it's it's disappointing. I I know, but <laughs> that's the way it goes, I guess. Does he understand? Um, so I know we're supposed to be talking about toxicity in League of Legends and whatnot. Is it okay that we're like talking about this? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, so does he understand that you're a pro gamer? He does. He so when I when I played for Fnatic, uh, I was pretty fortunate in the sense that Fnatic had these, you know, the all teams do these player jerseys and stuff. At Fnatic, there's player jerseys and shorts in like size for a three, four year old or something. And my little brother got one of these, and he was taking his shirt on um, in well, I guess it would have been kindergarten back then. And he was going. My dad was telling me that he was going around in kindergarten and being like, "Oh, look, guys, I have a Fnatic shirt on." And hey, do you know that my my big brother is Broxa, and you know, bragging to to the people working there and whatnot. And yeah, he he is uh, <laughs> he he's a very uh, supportive little brother too, and he he does know quite a bit about gaming and whatnot by by now. I think I, I guess I'm a I'm both a good and bad example in a sense because I'm mm-hmm. sure that eventually my uh, my my dad and, and his girlfriend are gonna have a bit of a difficult time getting this guy away from the PC because he's just going to point at me and be like, what do you mean? My brother is playing video games all day long. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, he, he does, he does know and understand what, what my job is. And, yeah. What's it like to have a little brother who looks up to you so much? It's, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to find a word to describe it, but I guess if anything, it just, it's just really interesting and, and exciting and I guess it's I feel sometimes that it puts some pressure on me and as well in a way to, you know, perform and to live up to this this little guy's expectations. Um but in a sense when it comes to that, um like my, my family in general has never really put too much uh value on like they don't care too much about I mean, they care about how I perform and how my team is doing, but usually the moments where I have felt that, like my mom, for example, has been the most proud of me was when I had like a really good interview where I acted really professional or nice rather than Hmm. uh, when I was at my absolute peak as a player. Because usually when I perform as a player and when the team is doing really well, they're happy because I'm happy. Yeah. Um, And when we're not doing so well, you know, they don't really appreciate it because I'm kind of sad and frustrated. But usually, they've been the most proud in some of those moments with with things happening out of the game. And for my for my little brother, I don't know. It's probably a bit of a mix of of everything because he doesn't really see everything with in the same light. I mean, he's probably sure. the most excited to know that I'm a pro gamer, right? Yeah, I, I it se- it sounds to me like your parents don't, you know your parents value you outside of your performance in your job. Yes, exactly. Right. So it, it actually sounds quite different. I don't know if you've heard the term tiger parents. No, not really. So it's, it's like parents who um, want their children to be really, really successful and almost like use oh. their children like trophies. So I, I grew up in the Indian community where 
um, three out of the five Indian kids in my school became doctors. Okay. And and usually the first words out of my mom's mouth when she's talking about someone that I haven't heard of in 10 or 15 years is whether they're a doctor or not. Okay. And and so, you know, some cultures and some parents will want their children to be... My parent, my mom is not a tiger parent by any means, but, um, you, you know, they, they really want their children to be, like, successful. And, yeah. like, if their children go to prestigious universities or have prestigious jobs or make lots of money that makes them like really really happy and they like value their kids for being successful sounds like your parents really were not like that or aren't like that oh like i could i I could quit being a a pro gamer and i could go back to my studies and i could i could become whatever it may be and obviously there's some you know, they're proud of me for what I've accomplished and they're proud of me for, you know, being a, a pro gamer and in, in a sense, but they wouldn't care if I was working at a supermarket or whatever it, it may be, or working at McDonald's. Yeah. Like, as long as, as that's what made me happy, they would be happy too, right? And the other thing that I wanted to just point out is um, I'm noticing a remarkable similarity between what your cousins did for you and what you're doing for your brother. Yeah, I, I guess you could, you could say that in a way. Um, How does it, do you, like, I'm just, I'm noticing it on the surface. If you, is that thought ever crossed your mind that, because it kind of seems like you're shepherding your brother in the way that your cousins like kind of shepherded you. <laughs> I think for me, it's going to be, Maybe, maybe somewhat, perhaps a middle ground between the two. Um, partly because usually, um, like I don't get to see my family that much uh, because I'm I'm traveling and I'm away for most of the year. Uh, like this year, for example, I was away for eight months, and oftentimes when I'm home and I'm on holiday, I don't, I don't feel like playing as much. I, oftentimes, I want to get away from the PC because. I sit in front of it playing League of Legends all day for so much of the year. Um, so I don't think my brother feels like he plays as mm. many games with me as he, as he wants to because he wants <laughs> to play 24-7, right? And I, I, I want to play a bit, but I want to do other things too. So I'm, I'm, I'm the type of big brother who does play games with him, but who also tries to get him to you know, go play football or get away, wow. get away for a bit. I think he's very lucky to have you, Broxa. It sounds like I, uh, <laughs> I, I hope I hope so. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you're teaching him a lot about balance in gaming, right? That you can have fun, but you should also prioritize other things. This is coming from someone who plays games for a living. So I, I hope he hears that message loud and clear. <laughs>